how are you? I'm good. It's good to see you. You too. So we see each other often, obviously, because we're friends. We hang out, and you have been staying in our guest house. Because I'm so sorry about that. Not at all. I am. So I, I'm, I've, had, I've been trying to build this house, and it's been very delayed, and I literally will knock on her door and be like, can I please have a roof over my head for the night? So thank you. Of course, but it, your, your house is finally finished. It's finally finished. Good, good. And you're happy with it? Very happy with it. And you're gonna spend more time there maybe? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> At that house? Oh. Yeah. You don't like me anymore? No, I love, I love you. I love And you gave us a new coffee maker because you didn't like ours. <laughs> she brought her own coffee maker because she didn't like ours. She you acted like it was a gift, but really it's because you didn't like ours. <laughs> You didn't have a good coffee maker. No, no, it was a guest house. We don't want people to stay. We just, it's a... I violated that immediately. <laughs> yeah. No, not at all. And <laughs> you have good taste in things, so it was Thank great. Thank you very much. Um, you were here, I think, uh, in season one. Do you remember that? I remember perfectly. What do you remember? I think I was pregnant with my daughter, who's now 17 years old. Yeah, so, so yeah, maybe season two then, yeah. Maybe season two. Yeah. Yeah. She's 17. Well, we can count how long I've been on the air by your, <laughs> your children. That's, um, and then we, yeah, we is were- Is that a photo of us? Uh, Aww, it is. That's cute. Yeah, look at us. What am I wearing? <laughs> skinny jeans? What the heck is that? There's nothing wrong with skinny jeans. Oh, okay. It was like the 80s. When was that? What, what, <laughs> what year was that? That was a long time ago. Um, hey, you celebrated your birthday uh, last month. I did. And. Uh, this is how you, uh, you celebrated. <laughs> and then this, and you took this picture yourself? Is that right? No. The other one. I took the one last year myself. Okay, let's look at the one last year. Okay, so. That was scandalous. Why, why did you take it? Why couldn't you have Brad or somebody take it? You had to like set it up and then run back and get oh, in that pose? It was so lame. I'm so bad with this stuff anyway. And basically my team, we have this amazing product that call, it's a body butter and it's, like literally incredible and it helps with crepey skin and all this stuff. And they're like, hey, why don't you pose nude for your birthday and in honor of Goop Jean's body butter? And I was like, really? I don't know, Maybe I th I'm a little old for this. Like, I'm not like such a nude poster type of gal. And then they talked me into it. So I was like leaning the camera against a fence and taking my clothes off in a backyard. The whole thing was a disaster. Well, why couldn't someone else take that picture? Why do you have to set it up and run back in that well, position? Well, <laughs> because Brad wasn't there. I'm not gonna ask like my kids to take the picture <laughs> or the gardener. Like, who am I gonna get? Well, not the gardener, but your kid could do that. Your no. kids have seen you like that. My my son, like, does, he doesn't even want to see a bra strap. Like, he's like, no, he would not do, want to take. Well, it's them. good. It's good that you put this new show out then. Um, yeah, which we'll exactly. talk about a afterwards. Um, so, I, you know what I learned today, and I did not know this at all because we're friends with Rob Lowe and Cheryl, his wife. That you, when you were 17 years old, which is yeah. Apple's age, mm -hmm. you lived with Rob Lowe. Is that how? Wait. I lost my virginity. No. <laughs> did you? Did you, they were together? I'm then. kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Yeah, no, because they obviously you lost it a long time before that. Um, <laughs> clearly a joke. Um, but so you lived with so him. So she lived with him, and I was staying with her. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Cheryl, Rob's wife. I met when I was about 15. My mom was doing a TV movie, and Cheryl was my was the makeup artist. And so Cheryl was so awesome and like, you know, just talked to me about all the like cool stuff. And she was dating Keanu Reeves at the time and I thought she was the coolest person ever. And then I was in LA and I was like coming down to audition to try to be an actress. And she was like, oh, stay with us. And so I, I wound up many a night on Rob Lowe's couch. Wow. Yeah. So, the, and that was before they were together even. That, that they were be. dating, but they weren't married. I mean, this is a while ago. They were definitely dating. So I think I was like, yeah, 17 or 18 years old. I mean, it was oh, a long time I ago. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, and, uh, well, you know, I was going to ask about the posts that you do on, on people's Instagrams that oh. you just uh, chime in. You have, uh, you have thoughts and you, you mm. let people know. Oh, dear. That one is, I think you're telling Chris Martin that, that you lost in the baby name contest? Oh, yeah. When Elon and Grimes, what did they name the ba baby? E X A E A 12? Yes. Yeah, so that's weirder than Apple Martin, right? Yes, and Moses. And, yeah. Apple and Moses, yes, they, they win for <laughs> they sure. They won. Yeah, and there was another oh, one that God. you posted. 
the man who likes, uh, looked like his girlfriend, or you said you like to look like him. That's true. Right? Yeah. You know, you got to do something when you're drunk in the bathtub, right? <laughs> like comment on people's Instagram posts. Well, watching your new show, there's other things you can do in the bathtub when you're drunk and alone. Um, we're going to talk about this new show of yours, Missy. OK. Culturally, we don't see a lot of models for how true communication, vulnerable, honest communication happens between yeah. couples talking about sex, thinking about sex. Everybody's always putting on a face of like, we're really, we're great at the dinner party. And <laughs> it's just not the case, you right. know? There's always stuff going on. Uh, yep, there's always stuff going on. So uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, that's the new show. It's called Sex, Love, and Goop. Um, and it's on Netflix. Um, what, uh, was this your idea to make this, or did they come to you and say, let's talk about sex? So we, we did a, a show called The Goop Lab uh, in 2019. Right. And it was um, on different topics. And the most popular episode was an episode called The Pleasure of is ours. And it was really exploring female pleasure, and we pushed a lot of boundaries with that show. And so when we came to make season two, we all kind of brainstormed and we thought, you know, it's really interesting actually because in the realm of your intimate relationship, is it's kind of a microcosm for everything in your life. And it's, it, it's where your triggers are, it's where you brace or where you're, you're dishonest. Like, it's, it's really an interesting area to unpack. And so many couples have so much friction in that area. And it was something I learned from the show too. So many couples are like, I love him so much, but we're totally a mismatch sexually. And we thought it was a fascinating subject. And you know, we got these, found these amazing couples who are so brave and come to the table and are just willing to try kind of anything in order to heal their relationship. Yeah, there's a woman who, how long had they been married that she'd never had an orgasm? And yeah. how long were they married? I'm not sure. And the, that's brave years. of him to go on there too. Yeah, but know? I think like people probably need to focus on that communication because mm -hmm. you can start to really unpack problems when you have brave communication with your partner. And if you have loved them enough to marry them, I think it's worth risking that vulnerability to see you know, what's possible when you're really honest about what you want and what you need and what you like or don't like. Absolutely, I think that's the most important thing is for both of you to be vulnerable to say, yeah, I'm not getting my needs met. Yes. Um, let's talk about, so Goop <laughs> has been th 13 years, right? 13 years. 13 years. And uh, this is a new product. <laughs> it's a dietary supplement for, for women? Yep. Okay, um, for sexual desire, arousal, and mood. So this yes. actually, uh, puts you in the mood? It helps you, it helps with libido and, and getting your mood right. Getting your mood right. Mm -hmm. what, what's, what's in it that gets your everyone, mood right? Guys, do you all want a, a bottle of this? I'm happy to give it to you. <laughs> um, you know, it was something that we heard a lot from each other and consumers that, you know, as you go through life, your sex drive as a woman can fluctuate quite a lot, right? Mm -hmm. It's like it can be really high in your 20s and after, if you have a baby, maybe it's less and then hormonal changes. So women really want their libido to be strong, but sometimes they don't feel like it's kicking in for them. And mm -hmm. so we made this amazing supplement to help. And it makes it kick in? Makes it kick in. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Is this something you're selling? You sell this? Can you show that on TV? I, like, like that, and then put it back. <laughs> like, so you sell this, are, the, are these popular? They're, yes. They're very, very popular. popular. And you know what is so interesting? It's like, why are we embarrassed about pleasure, you know? Oh, I'm not embarrassed about pleasure, but yeah. I'm embarrassed about that. <laughs> do you have one of these? I do. Really? I do, yeah. Huh. I do. Interesting. You know, people go on business trips and stuff. <laughs> people do. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so Moses doesn't like to see a bra strap. How does he feel about things like this that, <laughs> that you're selling? What you does know, he feel about can this? Can I tell you the sweetest thing? This really happened a few weeks ago, a few months ago. He said, you know, Mom, out, out of nowhere, he said, Mom, I was really embarrassed for, that for a minute that Goop sold vibrators. 
And then I realized like, no, this is great. You're making people feel not embarrassed to buy something. And that's great. You're a feminist. And I was like, thank you, my dear. That's so sweet. <laughs> so cute. How old is he? He's 15. That's really sweet. I know. It was really, really nice. Good for him. Very I'm cool. sure he's still embarrassed, but you know, at least he's putting a good spin on yeah, it. Yeah. He's, but th that's amazing for a 15 year old yeah. kid. All right. Uh, Sex, Love and Goop premieres tomorrow on Netflix. Uh, to find out more about the products you've seen here today and more, go to goop.com. More with Gwyneth. We're going to play a little game after this.